Hi guys, this is Sugi and this will be my guide how to y install custom skins in League of Legends. And since I've been associated with custom skins lately, I decided to, you know, make a guide about this because there's not probably many of them out there. Um, at least that are updated. So what you need to do is you need to download this program called Skin Install Ultimate. And here's the pack. I won't show the installing thing, but it's pretty easy. Just run the X file and install it to some location. What you want to do is next you just click this application, but I already have it opened here. And usually it will ask you first, um, it asks you to update it. Usually when a new patch comes to leak, it asks you to update it, uh, the client. And this is just a process, and you just have to click yes every time that happens. And this probably might, it's patch to patch. And we have three tabs here: skin creation, install existing skin, and add new skin. Um, when we have a download the skin, what we only use, we click the add files and add a skin. And we have a list of skins here that I have downloaded from theleakcraft.com. And that's on the description also where you can download the skins. Um, there are warning. There are a lot of skins that are really old and outdated and do not work anymore. Do not download those because they don't serve any purpose to you at all. Um, there is a lot of weekly new stuff to the site, and there's a lot of cool guys you know who make these skins, and most of them work really well without making the game crash or anything. So it's pretty great. So, what you want to do is, we're going to pick one of these skins, hmm, which one I should choose? Okay, we're going to do the Red Dragon Lux, okay, this is a pretty normal skin. So, once we have add the file, we always remember that you have to add zip files. You don't unzip them when you download them, you just leave them as zip files and add the files. Then you get a list of DTS files, DTS are usually textures, in this case there are textures, there's a bit of changes to the existing spells a bit I guess and the actual base base CM means the base texture so the skin itself and next we just click the add to database and we name the skin and this was red dragon locks and now we are in the install tab I have few skins over here which I've downloaded before and actually here you're able to scroll this thing down makes it a bit easier to install and do your thing and here you can actually see the textures of the um, the skin itself. Usually the texture, the mesh, what they call it, looks kind of different what it looks on the different on the actual game. So don't be shocked about this one. Um, then we have the the bottom tab, and here are the buttons we need to use. So once you want to install, you click the install. If you don't want to use the skin anymore, you want to uninstall and delete it um, because sometimes they may fuck up things like if you have like three lock skins you can't have that you have like only one per champion pretty much or a skin specifically sometimes they might overlap sometimes they might create these like blue missiles and kind of fuck up certain things in the game right now then we have the fixed repads sometimes the skins are broken when a new patch comes out this is something you probably need to do every time new patch comes out there's the game client, etc. Fixed grasses, invisible, invisible chars, and blue textures after the patch. And here we can launch it to client itself. But we don't do that now. So what we do is install, and it will ask you in which skin it will replace. And this will be default, so it will be for the base skin. Some of the skins will require you owning the skin because there's skins for the skin, if you don't understand. Some skins, skins are based on the commando skin, so you need that in enable to use that skin because it doesn't replace the default one. Then you just, you keep this box checked and you just click done and it starts installing it, okay? Install nine files. Skip ten files based on your settings, so Actually, what it didn't show right now is, um, let's see, okay, I'm gonna show you something. And here's an error. This happens now and then, of course. Holy shit. We're gonna actually relaunch the client because this kind of shit happens now and then. 
um, be expected. Now, as you can see, there's loading motor information, and this one may take a few moments. Well, actually, I don't need to show you that. So what we do is we have the client open. You can use and install the skins. While the client is open, pretty much, there's no limitations to that. Sometimes when you install the shit before you launch the client, it will ask you repair the client. Okay, this takes some time and it can be a bit painsome, I understand. But in the end of the day, you kind of, you have to sometimes do it. And when it asks, when it repairs the client, it automatically means it just fucking uninstalls all your skins from the actual. Because when you install a skin, it replaces the the original files in the actual game client files. So where the League of Legends skins are installed, it just replaces them. And when it repairs them, it just reverts them to the original thing. And that can be kind of annoying, I and mean, right, just kind of fucks up that thing a bit. Um, there's always a bit of controversy with like third party stuff, right? And sometimes in this loading screen phase, the game crashes and something's wrong. That can mean many things the skin is uninstalled wrong, installed wrong, or the skin is not working. And here we have the Lux. As you can see, this is not the best skin I've ever had. It's pretty nice, you know, black hair. I don't like the blonde one. Yeah, a bit of corset, you just gothic. Pretty nice. Um, let's see. Okay, it has a bit of different SFX too. So it has this fire thing. Not the prettiest thing, but you have an option to... Let's leave... Okay, we have exited the game. Holy shit, what is going on, man? Um, so... Yeah, so what are we able to do? Let's see if this works. Okay, whatever. But anyways, you're able to, when you install skins, you, it, it gives you... It gives you options to install certain parts of it. So you're able to uncheck the SFX part if you want to own this skin. And that concludes my guide how to use this thing. And if you have any questions, there might be probably a lot of stuff I didn't leave in. But you can check everything on that uh, on the actual um, text guide, which is on the description below. And see you guys later.